I'm Eric. And I'm Melissa. And today we're going to do our March 2019 slash Cowlitz Gamers for Kids Expo pickup video. We probably should call it the Cowlitz Gamers for Kids pickup video slash March pickups. That's right. Because there was one <laughs> March pickup. If it hadn't been for Cowlitz, there would have been only one. And we don't usually cover digital games. And I bought one digital game. Wow. And that was Anthem. Mm. Finally pulled the trigger on Anthem, decided I wanted to get the digital version. And uh, that would have been it. Did you hear that, folks? Digital. Because yeah. I don't want to swap discs all the time. When my crew want to play mm. Anthem, I want to get ready to go. No swapping discs. Well, you're not really going to be getting ready to go, seeing yeah. as how there's going to be an update. But yeah, that's well, another video. With the new Xbox, it kind of, it's, I think it's faster. Anyway. Yeah. What we've got for you today is all the college stuff, which just happened right at the end of March. Uh, I missed it last year. Uh, the first year we went to college, it ended up being three videos long. Oh my goodness. Of like 20, 15, 20 minutes each. <laughs> we've really toned down since then. We should be able to get through this in much less time. So we're going to jump right in to... Five minutes, go. Let's do... No, not five minutes. Oh, okay. We're going to jump into... Uh, Let's do the Amiibo first and what, get that out of the way. What happened to manuals? Well, you can do manuals. Okay, whatever you want. Amiibo. Let's get this All guy right. out of the way. So, uh, this is oh, Bowser Jr. look what you got. Do you know what this is? This is the last one, isn't this it? This is the last of the Super Smash yes. Brothers prior to the Switch being released or the Switch release or the Switch version of Super Smash Bros. This was the last Super Smash Bros. Amiibo I mm -hmm. need. I got Cloud 2 as a reissue. That's the last one I count uh, of the releases that were kind of the Wii U series. So, okay. and this is the last one I needed. And they had it, and it was twenty dollars. Oh! Which is not super Ouch. bad considering it's because this was a Toys R Us exclusive, and those guys were selling it for a buck more. Yeah, thirteen. So it would have been no, it would have been fourteen dollars at that time. Okay. And I didn't want to put, but. All right, so I overpaid, but or I paid more than retail, but this was the last one I needed. So really glad to finally have Bowser Jr. That completes our boxed Super Smash, although we did open one at one point, and I put him back in the box, and that is Mario. Mario has been unsealed, but all the rest are sealed. And, I and bet that I... is it, unless I find an interesting amiibo like Castlevania. Do you think if you find the original Cloud 2, you'll buy it too? I'm not sure. Yeah. I have the reissue. Oh, it's annoying so that it doesn't match, but from this angle, the, the shelf covers up the bottom, so you can't really even tell. Okay. Okay. So now let's do our historically, traditionally first thing, and that is manuals. I should say, I should preface too, we didn't preface that. I didn't go to college. It was oh, just yeah. you. I just, just went. You went. So yeah. I have no idea what you bought. But people, that's right. This is a surprise. So for there you. may be some very, there may be some disappearance. There may be some new gifts. New, new gifts. Yeah. Melissa judgment yes. gifts. All right. Okay. Um, and people asked about you. That was good. So, that was nice. Yeah. So thanks, everyone. Thanks for asking. Yeah. All okay. right. Let's do manuals. So um, it's weird because I got a lot of Game Gear manuals. And these are for games I have. Well, most of them. The Adventures of Batman and Robin. I might have gotten this from Mars. I'm not sure. I'm the not game? sure where I got that game. Mm -hmm. I know I got this one from Mars last year at C3, Chacon. Okay. Or Chacon. I think it's Chacon. I feel like singing the song now. No, not Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan. Uh, James Pond, code name, James Pond 2, code name Robocod. This game I got back at PRGE 2013 Whoa. from Luigi Freakout in a big bundle. That was like the first year. Maybe that was like the first year, yeah. Jurassic Park, I don't have this game, but I got the box from Kevin, and now I have the manual. Now I just need the game, and I'll have it complete in box. It'll be like one of three Game Gear games I have complete in box. <laughs> there's a guy there selling Sonic 2 complete in box mm. for five bucks. I couldn't bear myself to buy it because... Why do you need complete Actually, box? I might have it in box. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure. If only there was a way to... Uh, I know, I, I forgot. I can't... Okay, I don't have this game. Sonic Labyrinth decided to gr grab this because it is on the wish list. And Sonic Drift 2. I never see these manuals. And even the guy was like, oh, those are kind of rare manuals. And then he's like, yeah. But, and then he said, and they're, but they're Game Gear, so... Uh. Yeah. So they were okay. Uh, this one, uh, NES manual, Time Lord. I just got this from BG Collector Hall, the game, so now I have the manual. Is that a Milton Bradley game? Yeah, yeah. it is. It is a Milton Bradley mm -hmm. game. And I, I don't know that I'm collecting them, but... 
Couple of M64 manuals, Arrow Fighters Assault. I shouldn't have bought this because I don't even want the game. But now I can sell the game with the manual and Body Harvest. And the guys at the table I bought this from kept talking to me how great a game this was. And I'm like, well, okay. I mean, I kind of heard it was great, which is why I bought the game, but I've never really played it. But they, they seem to think it was great, so maybe I'll, maybe I'll give it a try. But okay. It's pretty low on the list. And then this, I was thrilled Ooh, to get. Oh, look at that. The roller controller. Why don't you hold that one? Okay. Roller controller manual, and I think that's a supplement. This thing. Ooh. Um, I got the Some roller controller stuff. from uh, my friend Chris Roberts mm -hmm. last year at Game On, and uh, it came at the start home. I don't have the box, but now I got the manual. So we're slowly piecing together a complete roller controller. Yeah, put that in a bag with some baking soda. Yeah, I will. Okay. All right, let's do. Um, let me do this piece of hardware first, okay. and then we'll segue into some of the other hardware. Bag. This is an HD link cable for Dreamcast. I kind of impulse bought this. Ooh. I want a way to play Dreamcast through HDMI so we can capture it. Um, we recently did a stream. I was We played the Dreamcast. I played it through S-Video. Um, I have a VGA adapter. <clears throat> Apparently, this uses the same VGA circuitry as, as the VGA adapter does but then it'll um, convert it to HDMI. So uh, this was from Castlemania Games. They had a booth there. Ooh, cool. They had a bunch of stuff and uh, he kept, he was telling me all kinds of stuff and the only thing I was interested in was this. <laughs> so I, I went back a couple times and finally decided, you know what, I'm just gonna buy this. Okay. Uh, it was kind of an impulse. It was $25. He said it was 30 on the shop. I just grabbed it. We'll see. We'll see how it is. I should look that up if it yeah, is 30 we'll on the see. shop. All right, so right at the end, this is one of the last things I bought actually okay. was Pink Gorilla. They did this at uh, the swap meet in January. Um, when they did it then, it was $5 for the bag. But I was not towards the end of the day. This was the last thing I did, but it was still a couple hours to the end. And I, I didn't have the guts to ask. <laughs> so this was a $10 bag. Ooh. And I had already picked out a bunch of stuff and I'm like, oh, okay, I'll just do it. So we're gonna show you the hardware. And then there's a couple of games that I'll talk about. Okay. Uh, that were in there. So um, this is all random. I don't know what order this is going to be in. All so, right. I mean, I know what this is. Okay, so this is a RF adapter and it has the little N64 modulator RF plug mm -hmm. with an RF unit switch on it. Okay. So I don't know. No one likes RF, but I like to have these, mm -hmm. these various, like the S video cable for the Dreamcast. I was going to get rid of that years ago because I don't have a TV that has S video. But it turns out that right now that was the best way to hook it up to the Frame Meister. Because I don't have, um, okay. all I can do is S video. All right, another RF switch. Okay. This one I was really happy to see. It's a TurboGrafx RF switch. Ooh. And I have a TurboGrafx, uh, it's the one that you found mm -hmm. at, a, at, a, at a swap, what was it, a rummage sale? Rummage sale. That was, it was in box, wasn't it? But it didn't have an RF unit. So now I have an RF unit I can put with it. I love to complete those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. So um, I was glad to get that. Ooh, what's that? This is a 2DS condom, <laughs> sleeve, <laughs> rubber okay. holder. All right. I don't know. Okay. Why not? It's in the bio. I don't know. Okay. But I threw this in at the last second. I'm like, well, wow. Yeah. It was effectively that. free. It was effectively free. Mm -hmm. Yeah. N64 controller expand extension cable. Okay. Okay. Why not? And something that will, oh. I got a driving controller. This is like a paddle controller, except it has no stops. It keeps turning. So I thought I'd try this out. And I think it works with a game I'm gonna talk about in a minute, which was also in there, so okay. we'll get to those. Okay, so then there were a couple of games in there All that right. I grabbed. Skyrim. Okay. The no. disc looks in good shape, it's got a map. I have this already. I, say, don't you have, I have this for 360, All I right. have it for Xbox One, I have it for PC. Oh gosh. I should install that collection. So I, I grabbed this, I mean, somebody might want this. What the heck, it's Skyrim. My, maybe my brother would want it. Okay. All right. These I initially grabbed for the cases, but then I thought, you know what? My daughters have an Xbox One, and they play this game. I bet we could, and we have the thing that we need for it. Mm -hmm. So let's just see. I don't have this game, Disney Infinity 2.0. Let 
This was in there. Okay. Even came with some, uh, Ooh. comes with the manual, comes with the disc. I'm like, I, I, at least for the mer very minimum, I'll grab it for the case. And then Disney Infinity 3.0. Now this is like the third or fourth time we bought this stupid game. We initially bought it for this PlayStation 3 because it had the whole yeah. fancy thing with Boba Fett. Yeah. Then we bought it for the 360 because I wanted the girls to play it and not use my PS4. And then we bought it for the Wii U. Yes. Oh no, that was Disney Infinity 1. Oh yeah. And now we have it for the Xbox One. So maybe I can get rid of the 360 yeah. and they can just play the Xbox One. Or I got some staircases. So those three games were in there. Okay. And then there were two more games in there. Oh my goodness. Which were in pretty good shape. Okay. Real Sports Baseball okay. for the Atari 2600. I have Real Sports Volleyball. And I think I have another real sports, so I thought I'd grab a real and sports real baseball. Sports. Yeah. And then the game, I hope, I think, oh, it says right here. Use the driving controllers. There cool. you go. Indy 500. This was actually on my list, too, as a, um, I think there was a book what? by Brett Weiss, Top 100 Console Games from 78 to 88, and this was in it. Yeah. So hopefully this controller will work well enough for me to try this out. I love these text labels, so... So that was all so those were all 10 bucks. in 10 bucks. Okay. I mean, at the end of the day, there were 11 items, so I paid a buck a piece. Uh -huh. um, and then I just counted um, Skyrim as free. Okay. Because it was the least useful thing that I got. Okay. Because I've already got it so many Even times. Even the 2DS condoms? Well, because this I don't have stuff? at all. All right. right. I, I counted all the stuff that I didn't have. Well, I guess, I mean, I have these, but yeah, yeah. these are going to serve a use. Yeah. I okay. counted Skyrim as zero bucks and everything else okay. was a buck. Okay. All right. So then I bought, uh, maybe inspired by, again, my friend Chris Roberts. Uh, although I have some of these other telegames, uh, this says Asteroids. It says 64. I'm confused because I thought, uh, maybe this is just game 64, because I thought this Asteroids had 66 variants. Mm. So something's not up with the number, but... Or maybe they took two variants away. Or maybe this has nothing to do with the game variants. It's just game number 64. In any case, it is Telegames Asteroids. So it was $2. Maybe my so friend grabbed it. Chris Roberts would know. Maybe he would. Comment below if you know. And then there were another two games, um, which I will tell you about from a booth. Um, this one I grabbed because I liked the label and I thought I was it was in pretty good shape. Really good. Code Breaker. It was a little expensive, but I bought it with another game and I'll tell you what happened with that game. Okay. So Code Breaker. And then uh, Video Chess with the uh, text label. They had the one with the, um, they had the one with the um, Gra graphic label, but uh -huh. I, I decided I wanted the uh, text label first. Now, the story with this game is that, and the, the one with the uh, picture label also, they had price tags on them of zero dollars. So I grabbed it and I thought, well, maybe they're giving this away because they figure Atari, Chess, who's gonna want that? Uh, but no. It was a mistake, and so um, this one had a seven dollars on it, and this one was zero. So for, they, they honored it. I said, "Well, I wasn't sure if you guys were trying to like play a, a, a trick on people to see if they noticed or what." And they're like, "No, it shouldn't have been zero. But they gave it to me for zero, so I got the two for seven. For I was going to ask for both for five, okay. but when they said that this wasn't supposed to be zero, um, I just said, "Okay, well, I'll just give you seven days, and they're worth." Well, according to price chart, they're, they're worth more than seven total, so I don't feel too bad. All right. All right, so that's it for the Atari 2600 games. So five new Atari 2600 games. I wow, love that. Wow, look at you. Uh, let's move on into... Um, let's move on into these real quick. Okay. And then we'll move into some of my favorite stuff. Uh, I don't normally Why? buy... I was going to say, what are you doing? I don't normally buy loose Genesis games, yeah. but it turns out I have the case and manual for... Super Volleyball. Uh, and it's right. actually been on my list for a while, so I can complete a Super Volleyball game. Okay. I hope. I hope I didn't make a mistake. I'm pretty sure I have it. It's in my spreadsheet. Um, okay. I, I never see this, so I, at least I didn't think I did, so I grabbed it. And then one of the games from the stream that we were on, this has actually been on my wish list for a long time. Okay. And Rocket Sauce was playing it. Mm -hmm. Glover. Okay. I don't think he likes it too much, but it's actually been on my wish list for a while. So I thought, this time I'm gonna buy it. Okay. And here it is, love it. And then another one that's been on my wish list for a long time, and I finally just decided to pull the trigger on it. Uh, I, look at this, they got it from Value Village for four bucks, I've hit more than that. Oh. Um, Axe Battler. Uh, for the Game Gear. Okay. So uh, yeah, this has been on my list for a while, and I just remembered that there are two more items that I forgot in the other room. 
So let's take a quick pause and I'm gonna grab those, okay? Okay, so I went and grabbed the other two items. Uh, what reminded me that I forgot them is that I bought them at the same time as Axe Battler. Um, and they are two strategy guides. Ooh. One for me and one for you. I'm oh, do, okay. I'm gonna do yours first. Okay. Folk. Yeah, the Wii version. I actually yeah. had to look it up which one I couldn't remember. And you Ooh. don't play that one, but that's okay. Yeah, I like having these. Yeah, I like I like for certain games I like having. Yeah, the strategy especially guys. for Animal Crossing, yeah. that's really good because of all the items yeah. and everything. Oh look, and this book belongs to Mackenzie. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't see that. Well, thank you, Mackenzie. Oh, bummer. That's okay. All right, and then What'd the one get? for me is. Thanks, babe. Oh, Shenmue. look at that. This is coming up as a Cartridge Club Game of the Month. Uh -huh. I've never played it. I'm, I'm looking forward to playing it. I got my new HDMI cable for the Dreamcast. Oh, so I'm going to play goodness. this in awesome, is this the high quality. One? Yeah. Okay. But I get to read this, and then I'll help you. Okay. Okay, so, that's yeah. how we'll play together. So two strategy guides. They were BOGO. Buy one, get one. All right, cool. So, yeah. So that was fun. Okay, so that is that. Okay, so then there is one Look item. Why you bringing me back something? Ah, I thought I'd do. Okay, so there was one more item. Maybe the astute noticed that when I said there were 11 items in there and I had only done 10. Here's the 11th. Oh, um, one of your favorites? It's and that of... is, uh, this is, I find very interesting. I don't think this, I, I hope this is a thing. I don't know if it is. Okay. This is a Sega Master System cartridge. Say, yeah. I meant to check if the actual cartridge was in there. This is a Sega Master System cartridge with no label. Yeah. What's interesting about it is on the back, it says shooting gallery for product display, working unit only, not for resale. And then they've got it marked out, but there's no label on this. I presume that there's shooting gallery in there. But what I'm wondering is if this is one of those things for those store display mm -hmm. units, um, which I don't have, like, uh -huh. but uh, this was part of the pink gorilla thing. So I'm like, I'm just throwing it in. Yeah. It was one of the first things I saw. And... Uh, I don't know. I think it's an interesting collection piece. It, it's a weird Sega Master System cart. But it can like play on your Master System, right? I think so. I haven't yeah. tried it, but cool. I think it's a, a demo, a that's demo cool. cart. So that's kind of neat. Kinda cool. If I ever get cart. one of those, yeah, I'll put that in there. Okay. okay. So now to the better stuff. Um, the NES games. Last time at the swap meet, I didn't get any NES game, any NES games. And I felt weird. Ooh. It felt wrong. That's so kind of weird time, coming from a Sega guy. I know, I know. I know. Okay. But I love getting little NES games. Okay. Uh, and Atari games, too. They're fun. So these are some ones you that have been... get it all. Yeah. Well, there's there's a bunch of uh, systems not represented here. But, mm -hmm. but um, I grabbed a couple. Um, this one I know very well from something. Destination Earth Star. I actually made a list of... Um, or a, a collection, like sub-collection goal. And that was to collect... Like a subset? Yeah, to collect all the games that were I used to read about in Game Pro Magazine back when I subscribed to it. So for the first year the magazine came out, I was a subscriber. And I used to read the thing cover to cover. And of course it covered NES a lot. Um, I think I know this from that magazine, although my notes about it don't indicate that it was ever in there. So either this came out later and I just saw the ads a bunch or... I don't know what, or I made a mistake. But this is Destination Earth Star. I grabbed it because I know this. I've seen ads for this a bunch, so I thought I'd just grab it. And then um, this one is sort of the same. This is Goal. This one was reviewed. So the the subset goal was to the subset goal was to um, get the games that were all reviewed in GamePro for the first year, um, and this was one of them. So uh, I finally decided to pull the trigger on it. If for no other reason than to have an NES game. And then a couple more. Um, I think this is the same thing. The Magic of Shahera, Shahrazad. Shahrazad. That's how I pronounce it. By Culture Brain. Another one that was covered in Game Pro. So I finally decided to grab it. The price is pretty good. And I had bundled it with Akari Warriors 2. Ooh. Which is not a Game Pro. It's just one of the games in the series mm -hmm. I want. Mm -hmm. An Akiri, Akari uh, series. And then Guerrilla War. Uh, which is another one I think Game Pro covered. I'm not really sure. And bonus came with the manual. It came with the manual. Yeah. Cool. So uh, grab those five. I'm pretty excited about Guerrilla War, and that's pretty much it. Maybe Akari Warriors, but we'll give them a try. Cool. So good to have five more NES games to the collection, and then finally, uh, these three are maybe my favorite pickups. Oh. Um, you don't have this? Uh, I do. Uh, it is Bully uh, Scholarship Edition. I bought this for the PS2 in um, at PRGE, and I decided 
uh, I think I'd rather have the 360 version. It originally came on the PS2, and normally I would stick with that, but I think this has some extra content. It's in high def. Um, I was going to grab the new version for the Xbox One, but that's just a remake of this one, and I wasn't sure if it came with... I like that this one comes with a manual mm. and, a map. and a map, and it bugged me that it was an Xbox 360 game in an Xbox One case. So okay. I grabbed the Xbox 360 version. This is the first mm -hmm. game I bought there. When I saw it, I knew I wanted it. Look at this one. And then this one. Oh, me and my Katamari. I overpaid for this. I found out later. But it is one of the last Katamari games I needed. It's been on my PSP list for a long time. I've really gotten away from buying PSP. That was only a couple bucks over. It was only a couple bucks over. Anyway, uh, this completes, I think, my Katamari. What are you doing? You're doing your little face no, for the no, gift? No, no, no. Uh, Subset complete, you're saying? For cut of Yeah. Okay. Sure, why not? We're saying it. Subset complete. And then you can put a little... I don't know if it's complete. I hope it is. We'll look it up. All right. So, yeah. Glad to get this. Um, I actually looked at a couple of PSP games, but uh, I don't buy a lot anymore. But decided to grab that one. And then this last one is... Uh, <laughs> about, oh, boy. This, is, this, was, this was expensive. I like to laugh. This was expensive. It was roughly a little less than a third of the total budget. Oh, hon. It is another one of Murder of Crows custom... Oh, okay, yeah, you told me that. Custom games. Uh, and this time, I think it's actually done by a different guy. I, I don't know much about it. Um, but it is a game called Linkle Liver Story, which I didn't know anything about but is apparently a spiritual successor to Crusader of Senti for the Dreamcast. It has not ever been um, released in the U.S. It has a translation, and they made it with an actual case. They made it with an actual manual, oh. which I hope I don't uh, destroy getting out. out of here. It's hard to get out because of these things. I think this might be a... Um, I think this might be a uh, one of those new repo cases. Yeah. Um, and it's got this beautifully printed manual. Wow. And then it even has a uh, little I certificate was say, here. It's numbered on the back. It is numbered. Uh, Link of Liver Story is a Sega Saturn exclusive action RPG co-developed by Next Tech and Sega and is considered by many to be the spiritual successor of Crusader of Senti. It is a reproduction. This disc requires a means of playing the backup. Okay, so I have that. This is number four of ten. By the time I got there, um, there were only three left. And um, this was the one that was in the best condition, so I grabbed it. Um, if they had had number, a different number, I might have grabbed a different number, but uh, they, didn't have a, they didn't have any number I was super interested in, so I just grabbed the one that I thought looked the best. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see it's printed right on the disc. This is fantastic. Um, that is super, that is uh, kind of nice. and it is a. It says here, Cowlitz Gamers for Kids Edition. Oh. Um, I I didn't know anything about this game, so I, it's not that I, you know, I, I necessarily wanted it. So I was caught up in the the last time I bought a um, an exclusive to mm -hmm. the Cowlitz. It was a Spot prototype for the 32x. That thing is worth a ton of money. Mm -hmm. So um, at the very it's least, still pretty cool. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do anything with this, but I figured it would probably hold its value. And it seems like a really, dare I say, cute, <laughs> cute-ish game that is probably going to be fun to play on the Saturn. And maybe I'll have to get Crusader Ascenti, but that's like a multi-hundred dollar Genesis game. So this is the big pickup, uh, number four of ten, Linkle Liver Story. Looking forward to trying this out on the Saturn. I've really been enjoying Murder of Crows uh, reproductions. I've been buying them just about every time we go to college yeah. and PRGE now. And this was no exception. I bought another one. So, um... Well, that's all right. That's so, yeah. So, it was a little bit pricey. I was, I was a little bit nervous about it, but I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be cool. I really like his stuff. So, so that is it. That is it for college. That is it for March. Not too bad. Mm -mm. I'm feeling a little better about it than the, the swap meet because I got some NES games. Mm -hmm. I got some neat stuff here. I'm going to try out the Dreamcast we cable. We just have to hope everything works. Oh, yeah. Last time we had so much stuff that didn't work, Two I couldn't believe it. Yeah, so hopefully all this stuff works. Yeah. It all looks like it's in good shape. Mm -hmm. So fingers crossed that it works. I haven't tested it yet. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. That's all to do it. That ought to do it. All right. If you enjoyed the video, like us and subscribe.